Welcome to the ED Pro, EDP Billabong Pro here in Kashkais. We're into the second heat of the day, just kicking the day off here. Day number one of competition. Jordy Collins, Manuel Selman, as well as Leandro Osuna and Michael Dumphy all out in the water. First, have had opportunities in QS 10,000s. Here they are again, golden opportunity. Yeah, Selman, the, the Chilean surfer, as we go to live action here with Manuel. Self-financed his, his himself on the qualifying series. I think on the QS, one of the things you can do is you can jump on the bandwagon with a couple guys and maybe not even surfers from your own country. You know, but find guys that are, that are doing the QS, jump on there, you know, share car rentals, share accommodations, uh, do everything you can to save a few pennies. In his scoreline by the end of the heat, as we turn our attention to Lele, Leandro Usuna, Nice wraparound cut back there, and he's going to get more as this wave doubles up for him. He gets a nice finish, so well paced. And uh, two time world champion. In surf wise, you would say that it's pretty easily attainable to be able to run that event pretty quickly. Dumphy. Michael Dumphy. Good looking left hander, and Dumphy. A couple of quality turns and Solid. looking on point right there. We talk about pace, we talk about reading the wave and Manuel Selman right behind him, an up and out there, but Michael Dumphy, great surfing. Absolutely. There's been a lot of surf on the West Coast, I'll tell you that. It's been flat. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you haven't been getting any waves, you better be traveling to get them. Jordy Collins. Speak about the West Coast, Jordy Collins on the backhand, and he completes his ride as well. And we love those stories. We'll see, uh, this is the start of those you know, glory years, or the glory months where you can see those uh, points happening and those stories, those great feel-good stories happening at the end of the season. As we take a look at Manuel Selman in live action, just kicking out of his wave, looking to do better than a 2.87, which is his current high score. And Manuel Selman, as well as Leandro Osuna, is going to be looking for some scores to get into that top two. But Michael Dunphy staying busy out there, just finishing off his ride. Take note of that as we watch the replay here of Dunphy. Again, looking at those lefts. Love how he's getting in and out of those maneuvers so quickly. Again, a little bit of a floater re-entry there, but he did show us something a little different by kind of laying it back. Turn our attention now to Leandro Lele Usuna also utilizing the left, but that left just disappoints him. And you can see it in his body language as he's kicking out. Did not get any more opportunity. Opportunity for him to turn it around. Yeah, as we talk about the qualifying series math with, um, and we're going to get back to that conversation as we go to Live action here with current number two in this heat, Jordy Collins. He does have the single highest wave score of a 7.17, and he's going to ditch that 1.7 that he has as a backup. Well, score checks in a 3.23, so keeps him in second place, and Jordy's going to stay busy here. Left-hander projecting for something big, throws the tail, spins around, goes complete, kicks out. Very accomplished. And that air reverse, his forehand air reverse, he has uh, on lock, putting it in, uh, you know, waving the flag for the Americans. There's that air reverse replay there. Not going to be a big score. And reason being is, uh, you know, again, he gets to the air, but the difference being is you got to have to get that tail up, you know, just a little bit low, so not the full rotation. So not going to be a gigantic score, but, I mean, for a section what he was gifted, did the best he could have. But I don't think it's even going to go into his top two. Leandro Osuna is going to have to get busy at the back half of this heat and finding some open face with multiple snaps on the backhand and a nice finish for Lele. So we'll see if he can claw his way back into the top two. This is it. Big leagues. And you got to produce in those big events. Here's our heat leader, Michael Dunphy. And uh, just pokes the nose on that closing maneuver. It's not going to improve his situation, but he is in the lead. The drive. Jordy Collins driving through a couple turns on the backhand and just comes, skips out on the closing maneuver. That was... Tour and, ...and travel the world and be in all those beautiful places. But you got to pay to play. And right now, up and riding. Check this out. Jordy Collins. Nice crack off the top there. Currently in second place, and he's able to finish off his wave. Looking to ditch that 3.33, may have just done that. May have done that. If just slightly, but it looks like that's going to be enough for the two Americans 
to move on into the next round, the round of 96. It's still early going here at the EDP Billabong Pro Cash Guys. We're just getting the day started, but two of the Yanks are going to be moving on. Pete, Yanks. I like it. <laughs> Heat's over. We're wrapped. What do you call Hawaiian? <laughs> Hawaiian. <laughs> Final results here, Michael Dunphy, Jordy Collins advancing on. We're going to see them continue in competition, eliminated Leandro Osuna and Manuel Sell.